Welcome back my duelist friends, Casual Duelist here, and I'm back on Master Duels. So, uh, outside of Celestial and me taking turns just uh, loading into the game to do uh, daily pick rewards like the daily gems, I uh, haven't really played a lot on here, if really at all, but I've been asked to see if we can update like the Utopia builds. So... I gotta put in some effort, so today we're gonna see what's new, what I haven't seen in a while. Um, and then check this stuff out, so it looks like there's new stuff in the shop. Looks like there's a anniversary campaign, we're gonna get some new gates. Uh, so like, let's start at the shop, see what's up. Okay, get some new packs, that's all good. Some secret packs, that's kinda cool. Uh, bonus packs, that's nice. Structure decks, I missed two structure decks. So let's see what we got. We've got Immortal Glory, which looks like dragon zombies. Well, maybe not dragon zombies, but definitely zombies. It's actually not a bad list. I'm seeing a lot of stuff that we can have some fun with. The fact that we're going to get Zombie World in here is going to be pretty cool. Let me go back through this again. Jack of Land's pretty cool. Basically, I'm looking for the real world uh, zombie structure stuff. So, like, I want to see Necro World Banshee, and I, I don't think I saw her. Uh, we did get the Glow Up Bloom, so that's okay. Got my boy Zoma. Love it. Zombie Master. That's okay. So there's definitely some things that you're going to have to go out and find. But I'm sure they're just simple breakdowns. So maybe we'll pick that up. And then there's the Vortex of Magic. This looks like a nice Dark Magician uh, setup. Probably due to the one year. So let's take a look at our contents. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get some D-Mage. Uh, Magician Souls, that's kind of crazy. Magic Karibo, a couple of the Magician Girls. Do we get all of the Magician Girls, actually? Chocolate's the best one. Dark Magician Girl's okay. Do we get the Illusion Apprentice? No. Tamias the United. This, this isn't terrible. This is definitely, like, that's actually really cool. This is definitely a good start. Magical Circles. Magicalized Fusion. I have Tamias is going to be a big deal. What do we get in the extra? Quintet. Master Chaos. Dark Magicians. Dragon Knights. So no Amulet Dragon. Which is... Which is okay. It's okay. Um, this one's actually really good too. So... I kind of like this, and it's got cards that cannot be generated, so like, I guess this is, you either pull them or you buy the deck. So, if I have to buy a playset of one of these, I guess I'm going to go with this one first. Because Dark Magician's just better for me, I guess. Let's see, we got a couple new characters there. We got a couple new fields. New sleeves. Loving it. New icons for the character. That's nice. Some monster art. I don't get that, but that's fine. Some stuff for Xyz. We got special. What do we get here? Now, you see, if I'd have known about this, probably would have done this. Um, we get a pack and some free pulls. Well, let's see. Mine as well. So we get some first anniversary stuff. Let's go ahead. Let's see what's in here. I'm loving that.
Okay. And this looks like this is gonna be nightmares. Nightmares are a good good set of cards. Love to have some of them in here as well as in the real world. So let's go ahead and skip straight to getting the pack. Chain summon, ghost trick. Not the world's worst pack, not the best. What all do you get in this? Cards included. Cause like I, I feel like if I would have seen this first, I should have just done, okay, it's just asking what it, what it what I could do. Fair, what's the details? Okay, fair enough. So let's see if we can generate some gems, I guess. We got three three weeks. Three weeks to do this. So we'll do that. Let's also grab the first anniversary pack because we're already here and that is free to us as well. Oh. Oh, um, that one, I guess. What's, what's in it? Survey says. Nothing too crazy. And an ultra rare pack, okay. So one card. And survey says. Slash dragon, I mean, that's not terrible. I love the prismatic. Not so sure I would normally would have went for that. Must have had three tickets. This, these must be uh, from Celestial logging in for me. Let's see what we can have this time. I like the Black Wing. Uh, I don't mind the Injection Fairy Lily either. That's pretty cool. And our Ultra Rare this time will be. Anything to help out, Utopia? Sign in Mining's not a bad card, guys. Def definitely a staple for anything Cybers. We've got one more of these tickets. Let's try this one. Flame Wingman. Gotta love Flame Wingman. I do hope the volume's okay. I, I did do a test run, uh, but hopefully I'm not shouting over everything and hopefully the music is not... Uh, is that three Blazemen in one pack? So, like, that was an instant playset. That's that's different. Um, okay. But, yeah, I, I hope that this isn't, like... I hope I got the volumes right. What's going on next? Our Ultra Rare is... Elemental Hero Sunrise. Um, okay. That's pretty cool. So that was a listing of all of our stuffs. So maybe we'll have the ability to get more of those tickets. And you can buy the dual pass. Uh, they did not have any new bundles. You could buy additional decks. That's nice, actually. All right, so we got to make 3,000 gems, and we could have to do that semi-quickish. So I only get X amount of days to do that. Um, three weeks. Let's see what kind of missions we've got going on. Daily stuff, that's fair. Logins, that's not going to cut it. 
All right. Dual pass. Let's check out the dual pass and see what this is going to do for us this time around. It's, it's not got a lot to go, but we could probably build up some gems quickly by ranking out. And you know, I'm willing to gamble. So let's, uh, let's bop the rest of my gems to it. And uh, I, I'll take the gamble. Let's see if I can't make back some of my gems between this and doing what I wanted to do. And uh, not sure which deck is which deck is live right now. But uh, let's at least get in there and start trying to play something. Um, so standard. It's been a while, so I don't even know what my ranking is going to be right now. Um, nice! I will have to do something with my deck. Because I didn't bother to keep up with the ban lists. So what did I get hit with? Geki's it to my duality. My duality and there can only be one or both nicked. Um, I don't see this being that big of an issue. Um, do I have a different deck that might, might just do what I want? How do I change my... Guys, I am so sorry for this. Like, I seem to have forgotten how to do everything so let's uh as soon as it unfreezes let's see what we can't do as far as taking a look at our decks is utopia uh going to be okay because if so we'll just go with that one one two doesn't look like my Utopia build has been messed with. So how do I set this to being my... I don't remember how to set it, set that as my active deck. Oh boy. I really should have, uh, really should have put it in work before I showed up. Oh my goodness, it was just right there in front of me the whole time. So, let's try it out. Without even modifying, let's just jump in. And see what happens. So, let's find us an opponent. We'll go around it too. Alright. Ah, the king of games right off the rip. Right, Tails, they get to choose. Let's get some lemon water. I know it doesn't sound like the manliest drink, but it is really refreshing. Looks like I'll be going first, which is a big disadvantage to me, actually. And if his little munchkin character is any indication of his playstyle, he's going to be setting up for me. So... Not really a great turn for me. So I might as well throw two in the back row. And I'm going to throw them like they were just auto set from the uh, from the get. This way he doesn't think I'm actually placing the impermanence where I want it. And then we'll just go ahead and scoop to round two. See what happens on the interim. Watch him play something I don't even know. Guess thoughts. Something I absolutely know. Well, guys, this could hurt like a like a ton. Uh, I may actually lose like right now. 
Because if he's got two fives, he's going into the Psy end. Or infinity, whatever. Um, doesn't look like he did that. So we should be fine-ish. So I don't want to hit four. Three will probably be my target. He may have the game right there. One, two, three, six, sixty-five. Everything's up another five, sixty-five, and all that. So he's going for it. I'll wait till he attacks. Then I'll imperm the uh, the number one so I can survive. And if this works, let's see what he actually does. It's been a minute since I played this. I think that's the effect we have to stop. I mean, again, kind of foolish. Probably should have waited till he declared the attack, then do it, so it ripped out the attack value. But we'll see. Okay. So he just straight got me. That's fine. It was a weird little turn. I really don't think that I can pull anything to win right now. So I think he just has this. So let's try Zexal Construction. We'll reveal the Zexal Weapon and Pegasus Twin Saber. Again, I already have Ascended, so the only one that you control is another one. You play this. Let's go ahead and grab him. He may have me. If he doesn't, it's fine. Let's go for double. Just go center square.
So there we go. Grab a twin saber. Grab a rank up. Not that we really need it. This guy, do 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 do, once per turn, target one, gains, blah blah blah. Okay. Sorry, did I just do? Let's go double or nothing. And we're gonna try for our one slash because if this doesn't work, it just doesn't work. Why it's saying I have a connection here? All right, let's go to the battle phase and see if we can't do this right. Number three. Have Utopia block his own move. my double or nothing. Choose not to stop my thing, go with the double or nothing. It's the longest turn in history. We'll try that attack one last time. And this time we will not be activating Utopia's effect because obviously we want this to land. Survey says. doesn't say destroy the card and after a very tense two turns of combat uh, Utopia for the win it took a little longer than I'd wanted but uh, is what it is it's gonna get us a few levels so it'll be some free bonuses and stuff let's see what we get for the ranking up we'll get some more gems we're just in the reward boxes. There's a lot of reward boxes. So again, we still got some extra gems. I mean, that's kind of cool. We get some little pick tickets here. Uh, it's all good. So I know I was asked about like how that deck and how to upgrade it, but just in case you guys haven't seen it, since the last time I played around with this one, I'm just going to end this uh, by showing you guys what what's in the deck. And like, we'll just kind of go over it. And then if I have something to modify with this later, uh, we'll just make a video where we do just that.
So realistically, like this whole deck is just a bunch of good stuff. So I'm running two Ashes just because again, it, it hits like every deck that's in existence, period. Um, you want to use three of the Zubaba Bancho Gagaga -ga -ga Coats. Uh, and again, it's just because it can body itself, so you can special summon this as long as, uh, so while this is in your hand, if you control a Zubaba or Gagaga, -ga -ga, uh, while this is in the hand, it can special summon. While it's on the field, you can target a, or sorry, uh, you can target one Gogogo -go -go or Dodo -do -do monster that's in the graveyard, special summon it while it's on the field. You cannot summon except Xyz for the remainder of the turn from the extra deck, and you can only use each effect once per turn. So. Um, it is a good way to actually board up two cards depending on how your opening board breaks. Um, so again, that's a good play. Uh, da -da -da -da, go 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 glove, uh, another good card. During the main phase, you can special summon a Zubaba or Gagaga -ga -ga from the hand. If you control a Gogogo -go -go or Dodo, -do -do, except same name, while this is in the graveyard, then this can special summon back, banishing it when it leaves the field. Each effect of this is once per turn. So again, this uh, says you can special summon a Zubaba. Uh, the Zubaba says uh, that it could do uh, target a go 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 or do 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 that's in the graveyard. So it could grab one of these back. It's very interchangeable. As you guys saw with the Armed Sage, if you only have one level four with a different name, then this is a quick special summon. And again, when this uh, gets used for the Xyz, um, you get a Zexa weapon. So again, you choose your Zexa weapon based on the moment. And then, of course, the Ascended Sage. If again, if I didn't have my counter trap already set, um, I'd have been able to start the turn by special summoning this. Um, so again, if this is like card number one on field, uh, this is a special summon, which then allows you to do an armed, sa armed sage special summon, which could then let you play one of these to play the other one type thing. Uh, and again, when this one is used for the Xyz summon, you get a rank up spell. Uh, from deck to hand, so again, depending on if you're going into single-double or how far up the Utopia chain you guys are willing to climb. Uh, again, great card. Astraltopia, uh, another good card. If an Xyz monster monster is on the field uh, somewhere, then you can special summon this card from the hand. You could send one other card from the hand or the field to the graveyard to add any Xyz on a Mott, Zexal, or Number Spell Trap from the deck to the hand. Each effect is once per turn, so again, quick extender once you have the first of your Xyz monsters out and then it's just one each of the three best weapons the lightning blade the bringer and the uh, pegasus twin saber uh, spells are pretty self-explanatory i'm using one geki i'm not going to change this one reborn one rota uh three of the zexal rank up again because of the way that this deck is formed if you guys want to play this more competitively to where you're just doing the utopia for the one slash oh sorry cold chill you guys just want to do the one slash technique um then you can drop this and you can put in other good cards uh, feather duster other hand traps anything that's really going to stall or break the opponent's turn uh would be good here uh zexo constructions again the, you saw how this worked reveal a card send it back into the deck after you grab a zexo weapon zexo sage a zexo spell trap a rank up or down magic spell card uh, and again, you only get one of these per turn. So again, it helps when you get a clogged hand. Uh, you might get, get two of these. Uh, you might get two of the Xyz change tactics. It's very good to know that you can actually like help autocorrect the hand a little bit. Um, Zexal Entrust. Again, this is kind of just a junkish card. Um, once I do have some better cards, these are coming out. Um, Xyz change tactics. Every time a Utopia Xyz monster is su summoned, uh, you can pay 500 to draw a card, and you can only control one of these at a time. There's three of them in here for consistency, and again, because you can toss them back with construction. The double or nothing's at single, the impermanence is at two, and numbers protection, just because, again, we're just playing Utopia. Um, we're going to go ahead and run that at max three. The extra deck is essentially whatever you want it to be. Uh, obviously, you're going to want three Utopias. You're going to want uh, Utopia double wherever he went. He's over here. Um... And then, of course, you got the Zexa Weapon Leo Arms. You're going to have uh, Ultimate Ray. Um, you're going to have two copies Halberd, uh, one Leo Ray. Um, this was in here for space. Um, honestly, I think I have access Code Talker in the video game. So I'll probably be swapping out to that. And then uh, just basically play whatever is good for you. Um, but that's it. 
uh, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Again, we've got some more speed wool coming up tomorrow. And uh, I'll have a bunch more of this type of themed content back on the way now that I've got everything set up again. So until next time, guys, uh, do something for yourself. Enjoy it. Uh, try to, again, it's Friday, you know, try to send the week off with a, uh, with a bang and enjoy the rest of your weekend, all right? All right, my friends, I'll see you later.